Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Liz and I post three times, four times a week at the moment. And I was bored and just wanted to play with a bit of makeup. I've put false eyelashes on for the first time in about a year and I really wanted to go for that glowy skin and yeah, this is what I've come up with. I was just wanting to play with makeup. So if you like this look, then just stay tuned to see how I got this look. Like I said in the intro, I just want to play with makeup and the first thing I want to play with is Revolution's um, collaboration with Rachel Leary. This is her Goddess On The Go palette. It's just in this lovely like pastel, like corally orange colour, reddish colour. Has the same colour on the actual packaging, so if you wanted to get rid of the box, you could. Um, I've not actually used this and this is what the palette looks like. The main reason I want to use this palette is because it's a very summery palette and I just want to get my summer colours on. So I'm really primed with the P. Louise base and I think the first thing I want to do is go in with the shade Peach Please and I'm going to bring you closer. I feel like I got really inspired with her like Instagram tutorial that just went up um, and then it made me rediscover her palette and I also saw... Amber Howe, and I will put her link down below to her YouTube channel, um, use her palette and it really inspired me to get her palette back out because when it was summer last year I used the massive palette that she has with Revolution all the time so I thought let me just get out the smaller one because I don't remember actually using it that often. And I want to take this shade here called Straight Fire. I'm going to take this shade called Pucker Up and just put that a little bit lower down. Let's take a bit of this darker brown, sweet like, just to deepen up the outer corner just a tiny bit. And I just want a gold all over my lid, so I'm going to go with this shade here called Goddess. Which is, oh. It's just an amazing gold shade. And then just blend the corner out. Obviously I want to put eyeliner on. I love eyeliner at the moment. And I've got this Revlon Colorstay liquid liner. And it actually, I didn't realise when I bought it, but it's like a ball. I don't know if you're able to see that. but So I'm going to try that. If that don't work, then just try another one. That went way too high. When does eyeliner ever go the same on both sides? And what makes it worse is one of my eyes is smaller than the other, so it just, yeah. I'm just gonna clean up under my eye and then we're gonna go on to some base. Finally managed to sort out the eyeliner and I thought let's go in with this beauty. I've really been loving this lately. It is the I Heart Revolution Tasty Peach Mattifying Spray, Priming Spray. Never thought I'd like a priming spray until I met this thing. And it smells of peaches. It's absolutely divine. And I'm telling you, if you've never used a priming spray, go and try this one out. Because I'm going to do the avocado range next when I um, get paid. So on payday, I'll be ordering the avocado range and we'll be testing that out but I was really happy with the peach range so can't wait to try the avocado. Do spray it really far away from your face because it's got a strong spritz on it. And it's meant to like mattify your skin but I feel like it gives me more hydration which I'm not mad at like look at that like there's so much more hydration and my foundation just glides on over this so yeah, I'm absolutely happy with this. And then for foundation, seeing as I'm a bit tanned at the moment, this is the only bloody foundation that matches me. And it's the Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade F8. And my skin just feels so tacky now from that spray. Just feels so good. So I am planning to film my top three foundations. And that should be coming up very soon because 
I never really like try base products out but lately I have and I've finally got a top three foundation that I always go for and if you'd like to know what they are that will be coming up very soon. Then I'm going to take the concealer to match which is the Conceal and Define in the shade C5. I feel like this highlights perfectly. When I try to mix in the lighter one I feel like my face just loses its colour so I am going to use C5. I have two powders, I have Stay Matte in Transparent and I have True Match in 3W and I'm going to use this one under my eyes and I'm going to use this for the rest of my face. So I use the Stay Matte more for the centre of my face and I'm going to use the 3W for the outside of my face. Because the 3W has a bit of colour and I like that because I feel like the Stay Matte makes my, my foundation go a bit too light. For bronzer, if you know me, you know I love my Hoola bronzer. This is the best thing ever. It's the only bronzer I've ever hit bloody pan on. And I'm so upset because this flipping thing is expensive. When it's finished, I'm going to bloody have to use... Um, well, I love my MUA. It's just the same. It's amazing just like this. But it means that until I can be bothered to get a new one, I'll be using my MUA one. And for blush, I don't think this comes as any surprise either. I'm going to use my Benefit Rocketeur again another blush that I'm hitting pan on and I'm so upset when this runs out I don't know I feel like I should try and find one of the mini sets or something because they're like my favourite base products for highlight I recently rediscovered the Barry M Baked Highlighter in the shade Bronze Deco it is that perfect gold colour like I love this as much as I love my Mega Honey by Obsession Makeup, that is my absolute favourite gold. And this is hitting that as well. So I've done my eyebrows, my mascara, I've even put eyelashes on. I've only put, put like three quarter lengths on and these are, they're by Lash Unlimited and they're in the number 14. Yeah, number 14. And feel like because I haven't been wearing eyelashes in a long time I just wanted to try some corner ones out and I'm actually liking them. Next I wanted to do was some lips, well my lips and I want to take my favourite lip liner in Obsession by MUA and then their Velvet Kiss Matte, <laughs> their Velvet Kiss Lip Cream in the shade Caramel 2. I feel like a dark lip is gonna suit this and if it don't I make a dark lip suit anything so this is what the lips look like complete so basically I am finished I'm actually really happy with this overall look for some reason my foundation feels like it's gone darker but yeah I I'm actually glad I played with a bit of makeup I did my eyebrows off camera because they're just I do them the same all the time I never change them up but I'm really happy with this look. Especially the eyes. I'm glad I played with Rachel Leary's palette because I love her palettes. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and I will see you next time. Bye guys.